guys, welcome back to my channel, Oshale here, and welcome to my first book haul of 2018. I'm so excited to finally share these books with you all. They finally arrived in the mail today, so you know it's time. And this is also my Christmas book haul. These are also the books that I got for Christmas, so I'm so super hyped because I have been waiting for this package for so long. I participated in the annual book outlet sale that happens every single year after Christmas for several days I think and I think I skipped out on it last year but other than that I have participated every single year and taken advantage of all the wonderful sales to get myself some lovely books honey and <laughs> add to my ever-growing TBR pile. This tiny, tiny shelf I have in the corner, these, this isn't even my full shelf set up. All my beautiful babies are in storage. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, honey. Here is the package. I have opened it, but I haven't even peeked inside, guys. I'm, I'm doing so well, doing so well. All right, so let me just open up the box way to, oh. About knocked over my life. Way too heavy to hold up on camera. As always, the list of all of the books I purchased, which purchased quite a few. 13 books for $52.87. You cannot beat that. Well, maybe you can, but this is pretty darn good. It won't come out. So loud. Teddy's looking at me like I've gone mad. All right, so right here on the top, is and I Darken by Kirsten White. I've been wanting to read this ever since it came out, honestly. I think that it tells the tale of Vlad the Impaler, but Vlad is rewritten as a female protagonist, I believe. And she is a princess, a brutal princess, who's also a killer. And it has very dark themes. I want to say that it has something to do with vampires, but I'm not 100% sure but I'm finally glad I have my hands on this one. And right underneath that, I have the sequel to one of my most favorite reads of 2016, and this is Eerie by Maria Devana Headley, who wrote the first book, Magonia, that I absolutely fell in love with in 2016. I'm still so sad that I never did a favorite books of 2016 video because I loved that book so much, and I've been waiting to get my hands on the sequel, and I honestly couldn't remember if I had already purchased this book or not, or if I just put it in my cart a lot and taken it out. So I hope I don't have a copy of this laying around somewhere. Now the downside to having the majority of my book collection away in storage is I can't look at all my books on my shelves and see like what's already on there and what's not. So I kind of hope that I don't have this already, but if I do, I guess I'll have two copies and maybe I'll give this one away. The more I look at the cover, the more I'm pretty sure I already own this. Book buying problems, y'all. Next, I have A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is the Darker Shades of Magic series that I haven't even started reading, but apparently I'm just collecting them now, so hey, why not? This copy is a little bit dirtier than I would have liked. It's not very clean, but it was cheap as heck, so I'm gonna let it go. I really should start reading this series sometime soon. Next up, I have two books. <laughs> They're not matching, but I as I've gotten older, I've just stopped caring about all of my books matching. I just don't care anymore. And I've actually found out that I prefer paperbacks to hardbacks. I know, shocking, but hey. Anyways, I am slowly collecting the Knots and Crosses series by Mallory Blackman. If you watched my top 18 books to read in 2018 video, then you know why. I really want to get through this series in 2018. So I, when I saw two of the books from the series, on Book Outlet, I mean, it just seemed like fate. I couldn't pass it up. Why not? I kind of want to continue collecting them in this cute, stuffy paperback edition. So cute! Although, when it comes to my absolute favorite books, hardbacks forever. Here I have The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. This is The Happiness Project, or Why I Spent a Year Trying to Sing in the Morning, Clean My Closets, Fight Rain, read Aristotle, and generally have more fun. Now, I have dubbed the year of 2018 for myself personally, the year of saying yes. I vow to say yes to more things and to get out of my shell, to get beyond my comfort zone, get out of my safe little cocoon, my little bubble, and flutter into a butterfly and just enjoy life and just try more stuff, you know, and just 
be open to more. So this seems like a good place to start. I'm very excited to read this. I've heard it's inspirational, it's enlightening, and it gives you that motivation that you need to get the happiness back into your life. Next up, I have The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. I heard a lot of buzz about this book last year, and I was really intrigued. I even had it in my Amazon cart for the longest time, but for whatever reason, I never purchased it. But hey, it ended up working out because it was on Book Outlet for super cheap, so I decided to grab it. Four very different lives are about to become entangled. Ruth wants to be remembered. Dora wishes she were invincible. Alice can't bring herself to leave. Hank is running away. They live in Alaska on the cold edge of America, where each one must find the strength, courage, and heart to survive. So everyone says that this is really good, so let's see if everyone is right. Next up, I have acquired the latest in my The Bone Season collection with The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. And this is another one where I could remember if I'd already purchased this or not. This is bad, you guys. Don't, don't do what I do, okay? Don't do this. This is not good. On the back, it just says, a rebel who becomes a queen. A fantastic tale of rebellion and courage against enormous odds. I want to say this is the finale, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure on this. I really need to start reading this series at some point soon. I think this is it. Someone tell me. I'm, I'm so lost. This is terrible. But yeah, I mean, I gotta have them on my shelf to binge read them, right? Next up, I have Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed, and ever since I saw a booktuber talking about this book, I can't remember who, it was a while back, a year or so ago, I have been intrigued and really wanted to read it. And it's basically about a girl, let's see, has Nalia's fate been written in the stars or can she change her destiny? So you have Nalia, who's from Pakistan. I opened the outer pouch of my suitcase. I stored $200 in there before I left for Pakistan, along with my visa and passport. I'm so thankful I never touched this spending money. It's not enough to get me home, but it's enough to get me to the airport. Once I'm there, I'll figure out what to do next. Wait, I slip my hand inside. Nothing but slick vinyl. This can't be right. I had checked the pouch just two weeks ago. I had felt the embossed cover of the passport between my fingers, but now I run my hands through and grasp air. So from what I remember, this girl is basically tricked by her family into some type of arranged marriage or, you know, they luring her under false pretenses into an arranged marriage and she kind of ends up trapped. And I guess on the back, she's trying to get away. I think she falls in love with someone else, but it's like forbidden. I, I don't 100% remember. So I'm interested to get into this one. Falling right along with my year of saying yes is Shonda Rhimes' year of yes. I mean, how perfect is this? It says how to dance it out, stand in the sun, and be your own person. So this has been on a lot of like best lists and for, especially for nonfiction and self-improvement and encouragement and stuff like that. So I'm a huge fan of self-improvement books. I don't read a lot of them anymore as much as I did in my early 20s, but I'm a huge fan of them. And it just went perfectly with my theme for 2018 and I had to get it. And I love Shonda Rhimes, okay? TGIT, anyone? TGIT! By the way, has anyone else caught up with How to Get Away with Murder yet? Is anyone else excited for the crossover of How to Get Away with Murder and Scandal? It's gonna be the best night on TV. Next up, I finally got my hands on the final book in the Winner's Curse trilogy, I think. Right? Am I wrong? This is terrible. And this is The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutowski. I have now collected all of the books so I can read them now. I'm thinking I'm gonna read them in the summer, but then I also thought I was gonna read them in the fall, so I'll get to them at some point within this decade. And we got till 2020, guys. Oh, it looks like I forgot one in my Knots and Crosses series. This is the first book, Knots and Crosses. I think I'm actually going to read the, read this this month. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm in that place. By the way, for those that don't know about this series, it's a it's an alternate reality where everything's different, y'all. It's basically a world where black people are the ones that enslaved European people and subjugated them to slavery and Jim Crow, although they have their own version, it's not called Jim Crow. And that's where the book starts, is during this Jim Crow-ish era. I, 
I don't know what it's called in this reality. So it's basically if everything's flipped upside down and what that society looks like and how it's unfolding, what's going on. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And last but not least is The Alchemist by Paula Coelho, which is another book I can never... Is that right? Pa Paolo Coelho, excuse me. Um, another book that was on my list of top 18 reads to read in 2018. So it was on Book Outlet. Perfect opportunity to grab it. Yeah, am I right? Am I right? I'm right. But anyways, The Alchemist. Oh no. Oh my gosh. This is the graphic novel. No. Kill me now. What a fail. Apparently I got the graphic novel, you guys, not the actual book. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful and stunning, and I don't regret it much. Look at the illustrations. Pretty full, right? But dang it, now I still gotta buy the book. I'm so annoyed. Mm. It's okay. I'll think about it later. And there you have it. We have come to the end of my book haul, and my box is empty. I guess I have to hold it all one time for the one time. I'm gonna hold all the books up. I've been listening to way too much Cardi B. I don't see this working out very well, so I'm just gonna do two stacks. Stack. I should have probably made it a little bit bigger. Oh well. I can stack. There you have it, my very first book haul of 2018, and yeah, my Christmas haul as well. Christmas was good to me this year. I still have a few books actually to show you guys. Scratch that. I got some new releases in the mail. Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. So I'm collecting all of them. So far I have Wonder Woman, I have Batman, I'm waiting for Catwoman which comes out. I think a little bit later this year, and then in 2019, Superman comes out, which is awesome. And then what I'm really excited about, and I've been highly anticipating since her last novel, is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And I love, love, love Holly Black's writing. I don't think I've really talked about her much on this channel, but um, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town is one of my absolute favorite YA books ever. So I'm really excited to finally get into this. I'm, this is another one that I might also read in January. We'll see. We'll see. That's it. I will basically be buying more books because that's how I live my life. Very financially irresponsibly. And I will be showing them to you when I get them. <laughs> Hopefully no more this month. February. <laughs> make me so happy. I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Bye. Bye guys. New books, 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 new books. New books. Black boy and his struggles to kind of make it, all the challenges that he faces, the family dynamics that he's coming from, and kind of how the chips are stacked against him, but he's got to try, right? This one is definitely a read I'm really looking forward to, and I am excited to explore more magical realism in the books that I read. I mean, it was a winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature, so it's damn good. For my third pick, I have another reread, lots of rereads going on this month. And